Welcome back to Two Chord Camp Songs for Ukulele. My name is Emran Taylor, and today we will be tackling Sim Salabim. Now, I might say Sim Salabim in there uh, as I'm singing this. Um, I don't think it really matters too much, but uh, this is an unusual song in that it is in 5-4. There are not a lot of 5-4 songs out there, five beats per measure. Usually we subdivide this five into a set of three and to a set of two, and that happens here where we have three beats with an F chord and two beats with a C7 chord. Um, a famous example of a 5-4 song is Take 5, which is a jazz instrumental tune. Um, uh, look that up if you're interested in seeing uh, an example in modern uh, songs. And um, there are other 5-4 four, four songs out there, um, but it's pretty uncommon. It's pretty rare. So what happens when you do uh, come across one of these is you have to sort of get creative as far as what you're going to do with your strumming uh, because everything's uh, not evenly divided. And so um, first, let's just do a run through and then I'll talk about what I'm doing. Uh, our first uh, string, third fret, C is going to be our first note, and the F chord is going to be our first chord. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. High in a tree a crow, sim salam pim bam pum saladu saladim. High in a tree a crow sat. Then came a wicked hunter, sim salam pim bam pum saladu saladim. Then came a wicked hunter. He shot that poor old crow. Oh, oh. Sim salam pim pam pum saladu saladim. He shot that poor old crow. Oh, oh. Then came a pretty maiden. Sim salam pim pam pum saladu saladim. Then came a pretty maiden. She took that poor old crow, oh, oh, sim salam bim bam bum saladu saladim. She took that poor old crow, oh, oh, home. And I can only assume she nursed it back to health. Um, so there we go. There's sim salam bim, or sim salabim. Uh, it's kind of a fun song. Uh, it's got this, these sort of extemporaneous uh, verses uh, that are sort of free form almost. Uh, and then we head into this sim salam bim bam boom saladu saladim. And I love that. It's just too much fun. So, all right. What was I doing? Um, now, as far as the, uh, the verses go, uh, high in a tree a crow I, I'm just doing basically thumb downs, thumbs ups. You'll notice if you go back to the recording, I didn't do it the same every single time. Um, I uh, wasn't too worried about that because we're basically just marking time at this point. In fact, if you wanted to, you really could just get away with just doing this with thumb strums. Uh, high in a tree a crow. Except you notice that I'm giving a little bit of an accent to where I changed the chord, right? So high in a tree a crow. So I'm strumming a little bit louder on those chord changes, right? Um, now what I was doing was a triplet strum, uh, some of the time anyway. So high in a tree a crow. And then I was falling down with as if I was gonna do another triplet strum. And then I broke into Chattanooga. Sim salam bim bam boom saladu saladim. Right, dim, sorry, same same chord. Sim salam bim bam boom saladu saladim. And then just stomping on dim and then going back into the next thing. Now, you'll notice on the second ones, I, I usually started with a thumb because I just ended here with this. Um, 
do sell a tim high in a tree a crow oh, oh, sat right and so i don't think it matters too much whether you use a down or an up or a um or a thumb strum on uh those verse parts right uh as I said before, the easiest thing to do would just be to do those all thumb strums and then break into uh, the Chattanooga strums on the Sim Salem Bim part. So, Sim Salem Bim Bim Boom Sala Do Sala Tim. Right? And um, that's pretty much all there is to this one. Uh, it's actually kind of fun because it's odd. And that's why it makes a great camp song. So, if you sing it a few times with people, um, they'll get the natural rhythm of this, okay? And um, next time, we're going to be tackling uh, a name game, okay? This is the telephone, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. And this is a, this is a great song for, like, introducing each other uh, if you want to get to know people and get to know what people's names and you're in a large group. Um, uh, so we'll be covering that next time, and uh, it's pretty easy. Um, but uh, it's a lot of fun for a group to do. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you keep practicing and uh, you con.